Electric motorcycles and scooters are plug-in electric vehicles with two or three wheels. The electricity is stored on board in a rechargeable battery, which drives one or more electric motors. Electric scooters as distinct from motorcycles have a step-through frame. Topic: History Topic 1895 to 1950 The early history of electric motorcycles is somewhat unclear. On the 19th of September 1895, a patent application for an electrical bicycle was filed by Ogden Bolton Jr. of Canton, Ohio. On 8 November of the same year, another patent application for an «electric bicycle» was filed by Hosea W. Libby of Boston, at the Stanley Cycle Show in 1896 in London, England. Bicycle manufacturer Humber exhibited an electric tandem bicycle. Powered by a bank of storage batteries, the motor was placed in front of the rear wheel. Speed control was by a resistance placed across the handlebars. This electric bicycle was mainly intended for racetrack use. The October 1911 issue of Popular Mechanics mentioned the introduction of an electric motorcycle. It claimed to have a range of 75 miles (121 kilometers) to 100 miles (160 kilometers) per charge. The motorcycle had a three-speed controller with speeds of 4 miles (6.4 kilometers), 15 miles (24 kilometers), and 35 miles (56 kilometers) per hour. In 1919, Ransoms, Sims, and Jeffries made a prototype electric motorcycle in which the batteries were fitted under the seat of the sidecar. Even though the vehicle was registered for road use, it never went past the trial stage. In 1936, the Limelet brothers founded an electric motorcycle company called Socoville, Société pour l'étude et la construction de véhicules électriques, or Company for Research and Manufacture of Electric Vehicles, in Brussels. They continued production during the German occupation with their permission. Due to fuel rationing, they found some degree of success. But after the war, they switched to conventional models. The electric models remained available until 1948, during the World War II, compelled by fuel rationing in the United States, Merle Williams of Long Beach, California invented a two-wheeled electric motorcycle that towed a single-wheeled trailer. Due to the popularity of the vehicle, Williams started making more such vehicles in his garage. In 1946, it led to the formation of the Marketeer Company, current day Parkar Corp. Topic 1950 to 1980. In 1967, Carl Kordesh, working for Union Carbide, made a fuel cell, nickel-cadmium battery hybrid electric motorcycle. It was later replaced with a hydrazine fuel cell, giving it a range of 200 miles 320 km per gallon and a top speed of 25 miles per hour, 40 km per hour. .In the same year, a prototype electric motorcycle called the Papoose, was built by the Indian Motorcycle Company under the direction of Floyd Clymer. In 1974, Orenthic Corp., a small manufacturer in California, produced a small motorcycle called the Charger. It had a 30 miles per hour 48 kilometers per hour and a 50 miles 80 kilometers range on a full charge in the early 1970s Mike Corbin built a street legal commuter electric motorcycle called the Corbin Electric 
Later in 1974, Corbin, riding a motorcycle called the Quicksilver, set the electric motorcycle speed world record at 165.387 miles per hour, 266.165 kilometers per hour. The motorcycle used a 24-volt electric starter motor from a Douglas A4B fighter plane. In 1975, Corbin built a battery-powered prototype street motorcycle called the City Bike. This motorcycle used a battery manufactured by Yardney Electric. In June 1975, the first annual alternative vehicle regatta was held at Mount Washington, New Hampshire. The event was created and promoted by Charles MacArthur, an environmentalist. On June 17, Corbin's motorcycle completed the 8 miles 13 kilometers uphill course in 26 minutes. Topic: 1980 to 2000. In 1988, Ed Randberg, who founded Eyeball Engineering, tested his electric drag motorcycle in Bonneville. In 1992, the January issue of Cycle World carried an article about Ed Randberg's bike called the Kawashoki. It could complete a quarter mile, 0.25 miles, 400 meters in 11 to 12 seconds. In 1995, Electric Motorbike Inc was founded by Scott Cronk and Rick Wisman in Santa Rosa, California. In 1996, EMB Lectra was built by Electric Motorbike Inc, which used a variable reluctance motor. It had a top speed of about 45 miles per hour, 72 kilometers per hour, and a range of 35 miles, 56 kilometers. About a 100 of these were built in 1996. The first mass-produced electric scooter, Peugeot Scootelec, was released. It used nickel cadmium batteries and a range of 40 kilometers, 25 miles. Topic: 2000 to present. On 26 August 2000, KillerCycle established a drag racing record of completing a quarter mile 400 meters in 9.450 seconds on the Woodburn track in Oregon. KillerCycle used lead acid batteries at a speed of 152.07 miles per hour, 244.73 kilometers per hour. Later, KillerCycle using a 123 systems Li-ion nanophosphate cells set a new quarter-mile record of 7.824 seconds breaking the 8 seconds barrier at 168 miles per hour 270 kilometers per hour in Phoenix, Arizona at the All Harley Drag Racing Association AHDRA 2007, on the 10 November 2007, on 4 to 5 April 2009, Zero Motorcycles hosted the 24 Hours of Electrocross event in San Jose. It is considered the first all-electric off-road endurance race. On the 14th of June 2009, the first electric time trial Extreme Grand Prix (TTX GP) all-electric street motorcycle race took place on the Isle of Man, in which 13 machines took part. Rob Barber, riding a motorcycle built by T. Magny, won the race. 
He completed the 37.73 miles (60.72 kilometers) course in 25 minutes 53.5 seconds, an average speed of 87.434 miles per hour (140.711 kilometers per hour). In 2010, Electrocat, made by Eva Hakansen, set the record time for an electric motorcycle to climb Pikes Peak. The motorcycle, ridden by John Scollin, completed the 12 miles 19 km course in 16 minutes 55.849 seconds. Electrocat uses batteries manufactured by A123 Systems. On the 26th of June 2011, Chip Yates broke Electrocat's previous record at Pikes Peak. He completed the course in 12 minutes 50.094 seconds. On 30 August 2011, Yates riding his prototype SWIGZ, Com Electric Superbike established the official Guinness record of the fastest electric motorcycle. The motorcycle clocked a speed of 316.899 km per hour, 196.912 miles per hour at Bonneville in 2012. Paul Ernst Thede set an SCTA record run of 216.8 miles per hour at Bonneville Salt Flats, Utah. This did not qualify as a Guinness World Record as it wasn't timed by the FIM Timing Association. On 30 June 2013, Carlin Dunn riding a Lightning motorcycle built electric bike beat conventional motorcycles at Pikes Peak. He clocked a 10 minutes 00.694 seconds at the 12.42 miles 19.99 kilometers course. Vectrix in 2006 introduced the first commercially available high-performance electric scooter, the VX1. Following insolvency and initial bankruptcy reorganization, the Gold Peak Battery Group purchased the company in 2009. Vectrix expanded product lines, offering the VX2 and the three-wheeled VX3, but Vectrix ceased operations in January 2014 and filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy liquidation, with its remaining assets auctioned off the following June. Topic current manufacturers Electric motorcycle manufacturers include Suzetta, Victory Motorcycles, Monday Motorbikes, Mahindra, Sincero, Zero Motorcycles, Lightning Motorcycle, Energica Motor Company, Yohama, Evoke Motorcycles, Quantia, Electric Motorsport, Aera New and Renewable Energy, Hollywood Electrics, Yo, Lito, Romai, Gagoro, Inacom, Rondine Motor, Current Motor Company, Gesits Indonesia, KTM and Alta Motors. Yamaha plans to enter the market shortly with at least two models. Spanish company Bultaco entered the electric motorcycle market in 2015. Harley Davidson introduced a new prototype electric motorcycle in June 2014. Z Electric Vehicle is a US based commercial production supplier of electric scooters for worldwide markets. The BMW C Evolution electric scooter was released in Germany in May 2014. Honda participated in European lease demonstration and driving tests for its electric scooter in 2012 but has not yet announced its availability for sale. Terra Motors, a Japanese electric vehicle maker, will begin selling electric scooters in India by 2015. Gagoro announced a swappable battery electric scooter at SEI 2015. Egan is a UK-based company offering a variety of electric scooters utilizing lithium-ion phosphate batteries. 
UGBEST is a China-based electric scooter manufacturer that has been in operation since 2011, utilizing lithium-ion phosphate batteries. The company acquired Ecobit SRL electric scooter factory in 2013 including the WMI and facilities. In 2016, Ecocargo was formed to exclusively produce electric delivery scooters. Sincero Automobiles launched their electric scooter Sincero B6 in Trivandrum, India on October 2018. Sincero B6 does not need the registration or license and with two hour charge scooter will go around 100 km. KTM produces the all-electric off-road bikes in the Freeride E-Series. Arera, India-based electric scooters manufacturing company, offering two models of scooters by the end of December 2018. <laughs> Power source Most electric motorcycles and scooters today are powered by rechargeable lithium-ion batteries, though some early models used nickel-metal hydride batteries. Alternative types of batteries are available. Z Electric Vehicle has pioneered use of a lead sodium silicate battery, a variation on the classic lead acid battery invented in 1859, still prevalent in automobiles, that compares favorably with lithium batteries in size, weight, and energy capacity, at considerably less cost. Egan says its lithium iron phosphate batteries are up to two thirds lighter than lead acid batteries batteries and offer the best battery performance for electric vehicles. In 2017, the first vehicle in the US to use the new lithium titanium oxide LTO battery non-flammable battery technology is a scooter called the Expresso. This new technology charges a battery in less than 10 minutes and withstands 25,000 charges the equivalent of 70 years of daily charges. The technology, created by Altern Arno, is currently being used in China where over 10,000 urban buses run on these fast charge batteries. Topic. Charging All electric scooters and motorcycles provide for recharging by plugging into ordinary wall outlets, usually taking about 8 hours to recharge i.e. overnight. Some manufacturers have designed in, included, or offer as an accessory, the high-power Chademo Level 2 charger, which can charge the batteries up to 95% in an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Battery swapping Manufacturers like Zero Motorcycles and recent entrants to the scooter market Gagoro and Unu have designed machines that allow quick battery swapping, for apartment dwellers who do not have a garage outlet, or for an instant recharge on the go. <laughs> Hybrid. Honda has developed an experimental internal combustion, electric hybrid scooter. Yamaha has also developed a hybrid concept motorcycle called Genru. It uses a 600cc engine and an additional electric motor. Piaggio MP3 Hybrid uses a 125cc engine and an additional 2.4 kW motor. Topic. Fuel cell There are several experimental prototypes using fuel cell technology. 
ENV developed by Intelligent Energy is a hydrogen fuel cell prototype. The motorcycle has a range of 100 miles (160 kilometers) and can reach a top speed of 50 miles per hour (80 kilometers per hour). Suzuki has also developed a concept hydrogen fuel cell scooter based on the Suzuki Bergman. Yamaha has created a hydrogen fuel cell prototype called FCAQEL, which is considered equivalent to a 125cc vehicle. Honda has also developed a hydrogen fuel cell scooter which uses the Honda FC stack. Electric versus gasoline machines Topic. Performance Electric and gasoline-powered motorcycles and scooters of the same size and weight are roughly comparable in performance. In August 2013 Road and Track evaluated a high-end electric motorcycle as faster and better handling than any conventionally powered bike. Electric machines have better 0 to 60 acceleration, since they develop full torque immediately, and without a clutch the torque is instantly available. <laughs> Range Electric motorcycles and scooters suffer considerable disadvantage in range, since batteries cannot store as much energy as a tank of gas. Anything over 130 miles kilometers on a single charge is considered an exceptionally long range. As a result, while electric machines excel as daily commuters traveling a fixed distance round trip, on the open road riders experience inhibiting range anxiety. Also electric power trades off range against speed. For instance the current longest range electric scooter, the ZEV-10 LRC, travels 220 km at 89 km per hour but according to the manufacturer the range drops to about 129 km at 112 km per hour 70 miles per hour. A BBC News blog reported that an Austrian bike, the Yohammer J1, is capable of travelling 200 km miles on a single charge. Maintenance <inaudible> 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 Electric scooters and motorcycles need very little maintenance. As Wired Magazine's transportation editor Damon Lavrink reported after an experiment of trying to go six months using nothing but a zero electric motorcycle. W ITH only a battery, a motor, and a black box, i.e. the controller, to keep you moving. Electric motorcycles are a breeze to maintain compared to a conventional motorcycle, what with all the lubricating and adjusting and tuning you have to do. You basically just worry about consumables, brake pads, tires, maybe a brake fluid flush. That's about it. Electric scooters and motorcycles equipped with regenerative braking typically have longer brake pad life because a significant portion of braking duty can be performed with the electric motor instead of the mechanical friction brakes. Topic: Fuel cost. At between one and two cents per mile, depending on electric rates, electric machines enjoy an enormous fuel cost advantage. 
3 months and 2800 kilometers 1700 miles of commuting on an electric motorcycle cost Lavrinc less than $30 for electricity on a BMW gasoline bike a single trip of 650 kilometers 400 miles cost nearly the same in Australia, UBCO battery electric motorbike running cost is 88 per 100 km. Refuel time Even with special equipment, charging a battery takes significantly longer than filling a gas tank, which can make electric vehicles less flexible than their gasoline counterparts. With the maximum number of accessory charges, it takes over an hour to charge a 0S ZF6, 5's 6.5 kWh battery to 95% capacity. This refuel time also increases with battery capacity. The 0S ZF 13.0, which has a 13.0 kWh battery, takes over 2 hours to charge to 95% capacity using the maximum number of accessory charges. While this may not pose an issue to commuting in an electric vehicle with overnight charging, it will likely impact taking long road trips that require refueling during the journey. <laughs> <laughs> Noise Electric vehicles are far quieter than gas-powered ones, so silent they may sneak up on unwary pedestrians. Some are equipped to emit artificial noise. Popular mechanics called the comparative quiet of electric motorcycles the greatest difference between them and their gas counterparts, and a safety bonus because the rider can hear danger approaching. Whether a loud motorcycle is more noticeable and thus more safe than a quiet one is contested. At high speed the whine of an electric motorcycle is said to sound like a spaceship. <laughs> Sales and adoption China leads the world in electric scooter sales, comprising 9.4 million of the total 12 million sold worldwide in 2013. There were only 31,338 electric scooter sales outside the Asia-Pacific region including Europe. The U.S. market is comparatively small, with an estimated 2,000 sold in 2012, while steadily becoming more practical, high prices and a limited range suited best for commuting have been impediments to electric motorcycles and scooters increasing their market share. Share. In the US at least, cheaper motorcycles that can refuel in minutes at any gas station better suit weekend riders, the predominant users. According to a market report published in 2013, the sales of electric motorcycles and scooters in expected to rise over tenfold by 2018 in North America, to about 36,000 by 2018. In India, high costs and power grid problems have contributed to slow sales. In states like Tamil Nadu, where power supply of rationed electricity was reduced, a corresponding drop in sales has been observed by electric scooter manufacturers like Ampere and Hero Electric. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Government promotion and incentives. Topic: India. In January 2013, the Indian government announced a plan to provide subsidies for hybrid and electric vehicles. 
The plan will have subsidies up to 150,000 rupees, approximately dollars for cars and 50,000 on two-wheelers. India aims to have 7 million electric vehicles on the road by 2020. Topic: <inaudible> Taiwan <inaudible> 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 The Premier of the Republic of China Taiwan, Liu Chao Xiuan said in 2008 that the government-financed Industrial Technology Research Institute will help domestic manufacturers mass-produce 100,000 electric motorcycles in four years. Motorsports. <inaudible> <inaudible> Topic: Pikes Peak International Hill Climb (PPIHC). The Pikes Peak International Hill Climb began in 1916 and is the second oldest motor sports race in America. The PPIHC is a long-standing tradition in the Colorado Springs and Pikes Peak regions. The race takes place on a 12.42 mile course beginning at 9,390 feet with 156 turns and ending at the 14,110 foot summit of Pikes Peak. One of the main obstacles of the race is the increasingly thin air that slows reflexes, diminishes muscle strength and reduces the power of internal combustion engines by 30% as competitors advance up the peak. The electric motorcycle division has an advantage with the all-electric motorcycles because they do not experience power loss with increased elevation and thinner air. The Lightning Motorcycle Super Bike Electric Motorcycle set the fastest overall time in the motorcycle division, beating all gas-powered motorcycles in 2013. TT0 <tiny> 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 TTX GP was conceived by Azar Hussein. The first race was held on 30 June 2009 on the Isle of Man in which 13 teams took part. The event was endorsed by the Fédération Internationale de Motocyclisme FIM. In May 2010, TTX GP started a World Championship Series. It went on to organize several races in US, Europe and Australia. In 2010, TT0 replaced the TTX GP event in the Isle of Man TT race. Neither TTX GP nor Azar Hussein were involved in the event. The event followed FIM rules. FIM Aeroad Racing World Cup On 18 November 2010, Fédération Internationale de Motocyclisme announced an ePower International Series for electric motorcycles, causing a split between TTX GP promoters and FIM. FIM, unlike TTX GP, was unable to gather many teams of the series. In March 2011, TTX GP announced it would again collaborate with FIM. In 2013, TTX GP and FIM collaborated to organize the FIM Aeroad Racing World Cup with races in US, Europe, and a final race in Asia. Motocross in 2013, FIM announced an all-electric event, called EMX, which was held in Belgium during Clean Week 2020 on 2 May.
Minimoto SX Energy Crisscross is a regular event where electric off-road motorcycles are allowed to compete against conventional motorcycles. Topic: <laughs> Emoto Racing. After the TTX GP concluded its 2013 race season, it pulled out of the U.S., and Arthur Cowitz, who had participated in the FIM Aeroad Racing World Cup founded Emotoracing to fill the void. Emotoracing kicked off its first season in 2014, running in conjunction with AHRMA which gave access to 10 high-profile tracks around the U.S. In addition to its regular race season, Emotoracing held its first annual Varsity Challenge on July 11 to 13, 2014 at the New Jersey Motorsports Park, urging engineering teams from universities to race custom-built electric motorcycles. At the start of its third season in 2016, AHRMA announced it had adopted a motoracing's a Supersport class as a permanent addition to their road racing lineup. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Moto World Cup. Moto World Cup is set to start in 2019. The series is sanctioned by the FIM and will support MotoGP at five of the European circuits with future plans for the series to grow worldwide. The series will be using a spec Energica EgoGP motorcycle with each of the seven MotoGP independent teams running two bikes while four Moto2 and Moto3 teams will run one bike for a total of 18 bikes competing. <laughs> See also Electric kick scooter Electric trike Electric vehicle conversion Energy density Government incentives for plug-in electric vehicles List of modern production plug-in electric vehicles includes electric motorcycles Miles per gallon gasoline equivalent Mobility scooter Plug-in electric vehicle